Do you feel like you're constantly falling behind and there's simply not enough hours in every day to accomplish everything you want to get done? In today's video, I'm sharing my top three time management tips and showing you how to increase your productivity. My name is Dana Kay, and this is Branding Outside the Box, where I help driven entrepreneurs and aspiring leaders like you become more memorable and make more meaningful connections. As an entrepreneur, I understand the struggle of a work-life blend and the constant feeling that there just simply aren't enough hours in every day. You're managing the expectations of clients, customers, team members, not to mention your friends, family, and hey, your personal well-being. It can be overwhelming. Sometimes it can feel impossible. That's why it is so important to implement these three time-saving techniques. First, be proactive rather than reactive. As entrepreneurs, we know the term fire drill all too well. We deal with the last minute needs of clients, unexpected needs of team members, even things like software downtime. When these fire drills happen, they can take up our entire day, not to mention our brain power. But what if instead of reacting to these fire drills, you could instead be proactive and actually prevent them? Rather than waiting for something to be dumped on you, anticipate the needs of those clients and customers. Reach out in advance, create contingency plans, set reminders, follow up. The more you can anticipate those last minute needs, the less time you'll spend actually dealing with them. The more you can work ahead and anticipate the needs of your clients, customers, and team members, the less time you'll spend reacting to those last minute needs. The second technique is eliminating downtime. Most people between meetings or certain tasks will take a few minutes to decide what they're going to do next. Depending on your schedule and how your day is laid out, those minutes really add up. They could even add up to an hour of extra time every day. Let me ask you, what could you do with an extra hour? Could you work out, spend some time with your family, even get a jump on another project? By eliminating the downtime and taking out the question of what should I do next, you can get valuable minutes back in your day. In my last video, I shared some tools and systems that I use to stay on top of our projects and map out my 90 day plan. So whenever I finish up a task, a project, I simply go to my task management software or I look at my 90 day plan, pick a task and get a jump on it right away. I don't take time to think about what I should do next or worse, spend minutes surfing the web or scrolling through social media. I can immediately pick a project, dive right into it and accomplish more. The last technique is to disable all notifications. Yes, all of them. Bing bongs on your phone, ding dongs on your desktop and pop ups on your browser are all designed to disrupt. You immediately stop what you're doing, tend to the alert, and this often leads to additional time wasters. Even if you don't actually check your email or look at that Facebook notification, the disruption itself, that oral alert, will derail your productivity. It signals that, hey, there's something important that you need to tend to, and it's a distraction that prohibits you from accomplishing that deep work. That's why I recommend disabling all notifications. This goes beyond silencing your phone actually disabling the icons and the notifications on your phone, because even if you don't hear the notification, if you see it on your phone, it triggers you to deal with it. Disable all of them. And if you really have a hard time with that, consider deleting the apps from your phone altogether. And if you really need to check your email or look on Facebook, because if you're like me, that's part of our job, then do it when you're ready. Don't just do it because your phone tells you to. Control your schedule and do it on your own time. Do not let your phone dictate what you do. Okay, let's recap. My three time management tips that will help you be more productive are, one, be proactive rather than reactive, two, eliminate downtime, and finally, disable all notifications. Implementing these tips will be challenging at first, but the more you do it and the more consistent you are, the sooner that these tips will turn into habits. 
And when you are habitually productive, that's when you are going to see a dramatic impact on your business and your life.